Chairman Wickley Foparanya has addressed the Homa Bay County Assembly on the need to pass the Lake Region Economic Block Bill. This follows claims that Homa Bay County Assembly has not set aside funds in its budget for the establishment of the Alreb Bank, thus negating the gains made so far. Oparanya has also called on the counties to strategize well in order to effectively domesticate the Big Four agenda. To remember that there are other uh, regional blocks in other areas that the cost we the budget, there are two uh, costs. There is one, the northeastern, the, the, there is another one. So already uh, other regions are moving. But I think as we have, and uh, we are multiplied better than most of them. And I feel that with your support, uh, we will uh, even move faster. We have come up with a deal. Uh, already the executive has signed an agreement, a general agreement for coming together. But, uh, we, we need that particular agreement backed by uh, a legal document. And that's why we have come up with a deal. And this bill, we have dispatched them to the respective counter service so that they can also pass them. As they pass them, we have provided if six counter services are able to pass, and then we will be able to move now to recognize other institutions within the Red Region Economic Program. So I'm sure that if there is a bill uh, before you, or if it's not before you, it will be coming. So the most critical document that now we have is the agreement signed by the governor on 20, 26 March 2018 or if he was not there, it is somewhere for him to sign. That binds you as a county to be part of the region. And then, secondly, there is the bill that is coming before you to so just make sure that you also look at because you are the legislative arm of the assembly of the counties, so you have a big role. Uh, play. Like uh, in East African communities, we have East African uh, legislative assembly. But us, we have not reached at that level. But in so our reporter, Kevin Ogutu, has been closely following up on this event, of course, on the Lake uh, um, Region Economic Block. And the counties uh, involved include Bomet, Kisumu, Siaya, Kakamega, Busia, Vihiga, Homa Bay. And Kevin Ogutu has been fo closely following up on these latest developments. He joins us live um, from the county of Homa Bay with an update. Kevin, very good afternoon to you. We understand that this idea hasn't been received very well by MCAs in Homa Bay. Tell us more about that. A very good afternoon, Akisa. Actually, as you put it, uh, this very idea has not been particularly received well uh, by the representative, the, uh, the members of the county assemblies uh, representing all the people of Homa Bay County right here. Uh, so this probably is what informed uh, the visit of Akakamega Governor Wycliffe Oparanya, who is the chairperson of the Lake Region Economic Bloc. And being the chairperson of the Lake Region Economic Block, he heads the summit, uh, which is composed of the 14 governors uh, that make uh, the Lake Region Economic Block. So, Akisa, we are talking about a run-up uh, to the deadline of uh, the passing of the budget estimates by various, various county assemblies. Are we supposed to be June 30th? And because of this reason, given that every other county assembly is supposed to set aside about 200 million Kenya shillings for the purpose of establishment of a regional bank uh, from where they can get uh, credit at uh, a, a more a flexible rate for the purpose of advancing economic development in the region. And apart from the setting up of the regional economic bank, we also have the rather a pressing matter of the ratification of the Lake Region Economic Block Bill, uh, something that has been hotly debated right here at the County Assembly of Homa Bay. 
uh, with uh, some of the members claiming that there are more issues, more pressing issues that need to be prioritized, but not exactly these two uh, for this purpose. And given that they are not really quite clear uh, how the Nyanjiku is supposed to benefit from all this. So, Akisa, I will quickly introduce Peter Ka Kaula, who is one of the uh, members of the county assemblies in Homa Bay County, to probably shed more light on why it's becoming quite an uphill task uh, ratifying the bill and also uh, setting aside all this. Welcome on board. Uh, thank you very much. Actually, today we are very happy to welcome uh, the governor of Kakamega uh, of Paranya to come and talk to us about this economic block. Yeah. <coughs> oh, my problem is that they are saying that the, in the Council of Governors forming this block, they have created a, uh, a bill that is going to come to the assemblies for ratification. That our part is only to say yes or no. We can't make any recommendation that will change anything. We have a problem with that. Because here we are the representative of the people. People elected us to come and represent them. Now, if my word, people don't want it, how am I going to say yes? And I see that one is, uh, every member is concerned about the, the whole thing. Two, actually uh, a bank, they want this money to form a bank. Banks have failed. And they don't have any net that is going to protect the 200 million that they want us to approve for them. Uh, already, we can see that we are being excluded out of this, this thing. And if we are included, then we can give them a good bill that can protect our electorate. You see, we went for devolution. Devolution was to bring funds to the grassroots. Now there's revolution to take the money from the grassroots and put it to one bank. Very well put, um, because of time, we might not be able to uh, say much. Uh, so Akisa, uh, th that is all we have from here. We'll keep you posted on what's going on. Back to you in studio. Kevin Ogutu, thank you. Joining us there from the county of Omabe. Back to another of our top stories at this hour. Cabinet 